guys and welcome back to the archive. I am so excited because today I am filming in my dad's old office. Me and mom finally gathered the courage to come in here, put in some elbow grease, paint up the place. Really happy that I'm actually putting this studio to use. But yes, that's why I'm in this lovely clean white background. Today I'm doing an ASOS try on haul. And some of the things that I purchased are from Bershka and some of the pieces I've bought are from ASOS Design so without me rambling on any further let me just get to it. This is a lounge set that I bought from ASOS, it's such a cute colour. Mint green is really in at the moment and I'm always looking for loungewear pieces because I read this quote somewhere that says, you know, why only dress up nice when you go out? Why not dress up nice uh, when you're at home? Because it does actually make you feel good like mentally, um, you know, it gives you that sort of... Um, self-esteem boost that you kind of need. I travel quite a lot and something like this would be perfect to lounge in um, one of my different hotels, especially in America where the aircon is always really high no matter what temperature you set it to. But yes, this is such a cute number and I think I would just feel um, a little bit more girly and a little bit more dressed up on the days where I don't want to um, get out of bed or you know those days when you just don't feel like a human being especially when you're PMSing or you're on your period. The other lounger piece that I got is this number. Pastels are so in at the moment and I am living for it. If I bring it up close you can see it's kind of like a, um, a bralette type uh, play suit. It's just a fun thing to wear at home I guess. I, I don't really wear play suits at home. It kind of reminds me of like you know babies wear play suits so yeah I'm gonna bring out my inner child but I think this is super cute. Sometimes it's just nice to be presentable when you have unexpected people at the door and I think this is quite decent quite cute and acceptable if someone just came over last hit myself in the face if someone came over last minute I feel like if you open the door to the postman he might be a bit like damn girl so the next couple of pieces that I'm going to show you are from Bershka because they had some really cute pieces going on firstly I got these really cute grey trousers. They're kind of like cargo pants slash suit trousers but I think you know something like this would look really cute with heels or even a pair of trainers like Air Forces or something I think it's really edgy. On ASOS they showed a couple different outfits to go with these trousers so firstly was this one but I think this would look really cute um, just on its own as well. It also came with a different type of blazer. All in all I put all the grey pieces to this outfit. I think it's super cute. Uh, super fun and I think it's such a key piece as well I don't have anything edgy like this um, it maybe look nice um, with a chain belt as well and it's a removable chain so I like that this gives me really boss bitch vibes like you can wear it in the office you can wear it with like jeans you can wear it like just going out also this outfit kind of gives me that energy you know the days where you can't be bothered to throw anything on um, it's already there for you so it's already you don't have to think about the outfit what you're gonna wear you can just throw it on and you're good to go okay the next piece that I bought is this Bershka leather crop top um, which you can also tie this is such a cutie um, when I first tried it on I didn't really know how to wear it because when I buttoned it all up it was kind of all tight around my chest area and when you're um, big cupped like myself um, buttons often stretch and it doesn't look cute but I really like this unbuttoned and you know it kind of gives me that that sexiness that I need in my outfit but yes leather it just I've never really had this in my wardrobe before because I always thought that I couldn't pull it off but like I said in my previous video I'm transitioning to a new wardrobe something that I've never really mentioned on here before is um, I was in a very long relationship where I wasn't really allowed to wear what I want to wear I mean everything I did wear it would it would kind of be like yeah that's a bit too much or so I always second guess myself and all my clothes that I did buy I had uh, my ex in mind thinking uh, that I couldn't wear what I want to wear. I have grown since then and I'm sort of experimenting things that I couldn't wear before and um, now I don't have anyone controlling me in my life. I can wear so <laughs> that's why I never had pieces like this in my wardrobe before something like this would never go out of fashion I mean whenever I buy something I buy it because I like it not because it is in fashion but saying that uh, I feel like something like this will never go out of trend so, um, I think that was it for Bershka so I'm gonna move on to the ASOS design stuff that I bought first thing that I saw was this cute little number when it came I was a little bit unsure about the material because I don't want to say flimsy because I have a few tops like this um, but I'm just thinking about the breast assist 
situation and I don't think they will support my boobies like how I want them to be supported so something like this I'd have to wear a bra with but it's really cute because it gives me it gives me like Fendi vibes but like Fendi on a budget vibes because I bought this to wear with maybe like black shorts or tan shorts or like a tan skirt I think in summer this would be popping it's just a simple little piece I love the design on it and I think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this one the next piece I bought from ASOS design was this cute dress it's like an asymmetric is this ASOS design? No, this is just ASOS. It's kind of, I don't really know how to wear it or put it on yet. So when I do put it on, I might need to refer back to the model because I have no idea how to actually put it on. When it was on her, it was kind of like a one shoulder thing, but the color is super nice. My favorite color is purple. So why I don't own any purple clothing, I have no idea. It's a high-low piece. So it's long right at the bottom. It's really long. It's probably going to touch the floor on me if I don't wear heels. Um, but it's cut around the hip, so it kind of gives you that hourglass figure. It's going to cinch me into the waist here. Something like this would be really cute for a first date or if I'm going to like a really fancy bar in America. I keep saying America because that's the only place I'm allowed to like go out and actually enjoy the bar. There's not many places that I can fly to at the moment being a flight attendant that um, is open. Once I figure out how to put it on and wear it, hopefully in the video it looks good. If not, then I don't really know what to say for myself. Okay, so the next piece is this lovely organza leather, faux leather bralette. Something like this. I can make it into an Indo-Western fusion with my Indian clothes um, because I'm always looking for bralettes with my Indian clothes. So I absolutely love this. But I also feel like, you know, on a nice night out with a skirt. This is that jeans and a nice top outfit because this sleeve, this sleeve does all the magic here. It's just gorgeous. This is giving me proper Paris Fashion Week vibes uh, because I can actually see this on a model walking down a runway. So really love this statement piece by ASOS Design and I think it just, it would just work so well. So that's it for my ASOS design bits that I bought. Uh, I also purchased from Under the Stories these trousers. Uh, I would like to thank Sophie Moulds for making me buy these because <laughs> I've seen them on her a million times but she definitely inspired me to get it so thanks Sophie. They're a really nice soft material um, but also thick so really good quality so I feel like I'd get a lot of wear out of these. What I like about these is that they've got the, the belt hooks on it as well so you can either pair it with a really nice belt if you wanted to. You can really dress these up to be honest. You could wear them really casually or you can actually dress them up. When I actually did the order I thought this would look really cute with these trousers just because they're both like a tan colour and the, um, the pattern kind of breaks it up. The next thing I bought from other stories was this cable knit vest. I feel like we have that weather at the moment where it's either too hot or too cold but I feel like um, if you wore this with a shirt and wore this on top it would keep you warm but you could also wear it when the sun's out because um, sometimes it's quite chilly here in the UK. I feel like the more you wear it it will stretch a little bit um, but also you have to be because this is knitted you have to be careful washing it I think because you could lose the shape and also it could shrink so be careful if you do decide to get something like this. I also bought this really cute top from And Other Stories. It's actually a bodysuit. Um, it's just really stretchy, elastic. You know the days where you want a really fitted uh, figure hugging top around you and I just love the slit here as well so that's really cute. You need stuff like this as essentials in your wardrobe. I have so many black tops but I just can't stop buying them because they just go with everything and even with a nice blazer or a jacket this would look really lush. Okay guys so the next thing I'm done with my clothes but I also wanted to show you the swimsuit. It's gorgeous. I have supported South Beach official for years now and they just have really great quality swimsuits and what i love about them is that it gives you the support when you need it i just think it's great it's figure hugging it sucks you in in all the right places and keeps your titties up and this is that really easy swimsuit where you don't know what to really pack or what to wear with it um you know a black swimsuit is just a great staple piece to have um, you can never have too many black swimsuits i have about five but this one's different you know you need different black swimsuits Okay, I'm going to move on to accessories because I did buy um, a pair of flip-flops from there which are so cute. I bought these babies right here. I'm a sucker for anything embellished. My friends know that I love a bit of bling so these are really cute. Um, 
and I've had my eye on them for a while. I was surprised they weren't sold out because I have like so many things in my watch list. Uh, but ASOS had 20% off site wide, so I grabbed a pair of these in a size 5. And this is just so cute to wear at the beach. And I tried them on and they don't hurt, which is great while walking because sometimes I feel like embellished flip flops. Um, I've had my fair share of cases where I've hurt my feet, so yeah, these are really cute. The next piece I bought is a rhinestone belt. It focuses. I actually bought this to go with my Indian outfits because um, we call it a kamarband and we wear it to keep like our dupatta and our lenka together but also it's a cute accessory so um, I think it's really versatile and I'd be able to wear it with a with um, just a normal dress to sort of cinch in the waist. Um, I have really wide hips compared to my waist so depending on sometimes things that I wear it can make me look really blocky because um, it goes straight to my hips and then I just look like a rectangle so something like this really cute to just wear around the waist and yeah and embellished I just have a thing for embellished things uh, the next piece I'm going to show you are a pair of sunnies and when I saw them on the site I was like I have to get them because they give me proper vintage 90s vibes and my face is very very small so for me to find glasses that actually fit my frame is very very rare but ever since these um, half-rimmed glasses have come into fashion and they're so on trend at the moment, um, it would be rude of me not to buy um, every single pair that I see online because otherwise when they go out of fashion I'm not going to be able to find them anywhere. These give me really cool, like, I just feel really edgy. Mm. If I turn the ring light off then maybe it won't give that glare. I think they really suit me. But I love, if you look at the side, they've got a little butterfly which is so cute. And, um, as much as I love bees and I'm obsessed with bees, I'm also obsessed with butterflies because they're just cute. Anything that flies, I'm okay with, but anything that crawls, mm -mm. yeah, that's my preferences on insects there. But yeah, these are just really cute. I walked into the house like this earlier and my mum was like, where are you going? And I was like, to the Matrix, because I'm giving those vibes off right now. I feel like I could end a boy's life dressed like this. I absolutely love these and I think I'm going to get another pair because if they ever break. I'm that girl who has anxiety where if she finds something she likes and it suits her because normally the industry doesn't cater for her, then I will buy two or three without shame because undoubtedly I will probably lose these or sit on them and I'm just I'm just a mess and then I bought three pairs of earrings I actually have one pair on right now these are super cute um they're just your normal average hoops but they've got a little twist in them so I thought they were different and then I have these really cute earrings from monkey I'm not too sure about them but I don't think you can return earrings um but these are really cute Gold. I didn't buy any silver ones because um, I'm more of a gold uh, earring girl. You can never have too many earrings. I have quite a lot of friends that don't have earrings, um, so they always borrow mine and I'm like, girl, you can never have too many earrings, what is wrong with you? These though, these are my favourite pair. These, I believe they are from ASOS themselves. Ooh. But they're these lovely pair of earrings right here if I focus on them. They're just your average door knockers, they're a good size. My face is quite small so I have to be really careful what kind of um, earrings I wear because otherwise they just look ridiculously big on me and often earrings are really heavy but um, these are all really good sizes, they're quite lightweight and it doesn't even feel like I've got them on. Oh I have one more thing that I bought that I almost forgot about which is this belt right here. This is from Topshop, but I've had my eye on one of these chain belts for the longest time. Again, the same thing with the um, the leather. I never thought I could pull anything like this off. Um, but I just thought, what the hell, it's super cute. And I think it'll go with a lot of outfits like the Bershka uh, trousers that I bought as well. Okay guys, that's the end of my ASOS try and haul. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I thought I had bought more than this, but clearly not. But regardless of that, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a like, comment, share, and subscribe to The Archive, which is my YouTube channel. Um, but until next time, guys.